it's a huge problem. Just imagine that in 2038 that every single person in Ottawa had a stroke. That's the size of the problem that we're going to be faced with. My name is Dr. Dale Corbett. I'm a professor of neurosciences at the University of Ottawa, and I'm also the scientific director and CEO of the Heart and Stroke Foundation, Canadian Partnership for Stroke Recovery. There are about 62,000 strokes per year in Canada, and there are over 400,000 people who are living with the aftermath of stroke. Could be in language, could be in cognition, you know, our learning and memory. It could be in the ability to use our limbs, upper limbs, lower limbs. It could affect our mood. Stroke recovery is really the new frontier in, in stroke research. It's really the area of research that offers the most hope to the greatest number of patients. One of the approaches is stem cell therapy, and we think that that has a lot of potential to improve recovery in people and help them achieve a fuller recovery by reorganizing and rewiring the brain, enhancing what we call brain plasticity and improving function. My name is Dar Dolet Shahi. I'm a stroke neurologist. I'm also a scientist and the scientific director of the Ottawa Stroke Program. My job is mostly to do acute stroke therapy, stroke prevention, and I also lead a clinical stroke research team. The most common question I get regarding stem cells is, first of all, do they work? Second, where can they get them? What I usually tell them is, we, I'm hopeful they work. We don't know for sure if they work is the honest answer. There's questions that haven't been addressed yet. For example, what type of stem cells should be we using for stroke? We have many we can choose from, and we don't know which one's going to work. Second question is, how do we give the stem cells? The ideal way to give them is through an injection. That, that doesn't require any major surgery and it would be the safest, but we don't know if that'll work. Other people are act, advocating doing open surgery, which is a very risky proposition and may also not work and do harm. The third question is, what type of strokes? Stroke is not a single disease. It's many different diseases with many different recovery patterns, many different symptoms. So we don't know which ones will respond to what type of stem cells. The time window that seems to be optimal with other interventions or treatments is about 5 to 14 days after the stroke. But an interesting idea with stem cells is that it, they may also be beneficial if given to patients after their recovery has kind of stalled or plateaued. And this would be at about three or four months after the stroke. It's possible, we don't know. Well, you can think of it a bit like planting seeds in the soil. If you plant the seeds in, in soil which is dry, which is not prepared, uh, it's too hard or too, uh, then, then too hostile, the, the seeds won't germinate. If you, if you plant it in, in soil that's just ready, uh, then of course they'll do well. My name is Dr. Duncan Stewart. I'm CEO and Scientific Director of the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. I'm also the Executive Vice President of Research at the Ottawa Hospital. My own, I'm a cardiologist uh, by trade and my own interest is in stem cells, particularly as they are used to treat cardiac and vascular diseases. Stem cells were discovered here in Canada. Partly because of this, we've, we've had a very strong scientific community in the area of stem cells. So I think we have a great opportunity to move this forward. Around the world, presently, there are about 35 different trials taking place with stem cells, but not a single one here. So we're hoping to change that in the Canadian Partnership for Stroke Recovery. Right now, we're at some preliminary trials, all of which have been flawed, unfortunately. We need to do more science, and most of all, we need to do this safely and ethically. And right now would be a fantastic time to launch a stem cell study for stroke. We want to design studies for the bleeding strokes. We want to design other ones for the clotting strokes. I think that we should not so much take our time, but do it right.